hello and today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the hud element or you can just use it in your games or you can just i'm just going to be showing you guys how what you can use it for and how to use it so first you're going to be going to your watch menu click on backpack click on makeup pen. it's going to be popping up right in front of you and you can just grab it go to your makeup pen menu click on the search button spawn in a button like that and then just search up hud just search up hud Whenever you search up HUD, uh, all the chips you're going to be needing are going to be coming up. You're going to be needing a HUD element consistent, or whatever, however you want to say it. Set HUD element label. And then you're going to be needing set HUD element, uh, set HUD element value. And set HUD element enabled. Like that. So you're going to be click on uh, connect. Or you're going to be getting the connect tool. Click on the pressed. And you're going to be activating the HUD element so it enables whenever you press it and then you can click on false or activate it so it's true and then the target you want it to be this HUD element for all three chips like that after it is set to enabled you're going to be grabbing the HUD element uh, label connecting it into there after the uh, HUD element label activates you're going to be getting the value like that Set how to element about you can just change it to whatever you would like to, like this. I, will, I want you know, if you're making a clicker game, of course, whatever you're making, I'm going to be changing it to clicks for now. Like this, and then you're pretty much done. But uh, if you click on your tools, click on configure, like that, click on chip settings. You can name it to whatever you would like to, but uh, this name that you're going to be entering in, only people with Maker Pen can see it. So I'm just going to be, you know, typing in G. Uh, you don't need a name because this is uh, HUD element label. You see element label, set HUD element label. So that chip is already there, so you don't need to uh, edit this. What you can do is choose the color. So I'm going to be picking blue. Done. You don't need to edit these. And pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. You can also choose wherever you want it. So I'm going to be going to uh, lower right. That sounds pretty uh, cool. So now when I click the button, you see something on my screen will pop up with something above it. Above it. You see it clicks and it's zero. But you see nothing's happening. It just stuck at zero. So let's say I want the value to be something. Of course, you can connect this to an invariable. You see because it's a green uh, value. You can connect this to an invariable or something that has a you know green value but let's say you're making a simulator or something like that you're going to be getting the value and then uh, putting it right here to the result of the invariable now this is a very simple uh, clicker I, uh, I made very quickly if you would like to see a clicker uh, or how you make a clicker just ch uh, click on my uh, you know uh, channel and then there should be a video it's pretty much my most recent video if you uh, you know if you do not know what it's called or you don't know you know which one it is i'm going to be putting it up on screen right now or you can just wait till the video ends and then all, it's going to be showing up right there at the outro but let's say you want the value uh, of the hud element to be the value uh, of the clicks so now every time you click you see it goes up but it does not activate Let's say I click this button. It's eight. But let's say you want this to, you know, update automatically. You don't want it, you know, you don't want to click this button every single time. Then you're going to be clicking on your palette, and then searching up event, event receiver. Clicking on configure on that. Uh, click on the event, and you're going to be choosing update 30 hertz. And then connecting this to the uh, what you first connected the button to. You see, I connected the, the first button to uh, set HUD element enable, so you can be put, doing that. And you can just delete the button right after. You see, it may cause a CPU problem, but it's not that much because it's 2.5, so it's really no big wait till the video ends, and then all, it's going to be showing up right there at the outro. But let's say you want the value uh, of the HUD element to be the value. Uh, of the clicks so now every time you click you see it goes up but it does not activate let's say I click this button it's eight but let's say you want this to you know 
update automatically. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to click this button every single time. Then you're going to be clicking on your palette, and then searching up event, event receiver, clicking on configure on that, uh, click on the event, and you're going to be choosing update 30 hertz. And then connecting this to the what you first connected the button to. You see, I connected the, the first button to uh, set HUD element enable, so you can be put, doing that. And you can just delete the button right after. You see, it may cause a CPU problem, but it's not that much because it's 2.5, so it's really no big problem. So every time I click it, it goes up. You see, it automatically goes up by itself. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use the HUD element or the basics of the HUD element. If you would like to uh, more tutorials uh, like this, just subscribe and like. And uh, if you have any suggestions, just put them right in the comments. I'll read them and make a video about it if you need any help with that. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one.